We learn BFM the same way you would eat an elephant, one bite at a time. When you get started in pilot training, you learn how to fly formation with other aircraft. And the next step of that, we fly something called extended trail. It's where you fly along underneath and behind the other airplane and you learn how to match their maneuvers. We also fly in fighting wing, which is a cone around the airplane where as you maneuver through the sky, you're following the other airplane. Those simple things teach you the basics of flying in relation to another airplane. Later on in your fighter pilot career, you start learning some more advanced handling. We do advanced handling of the aircraft where we max performance right to the verge of stalling. F-16 does not stall, it will spin, but it doesn't like to stall because of the uh, flight control limiters and governors that are on it. So we take it right to the limit of that and then recover and we practice how to do those maneuvers quite a bit. Next thing we do is introduce another airplane to the scenario. Then we fly against the other airplane and we start out from a position of advantage. So if I'm shooting my watch here, we start out here as the trainee in what we call offensive BFM. You're beginning offensive from a position of advantage. Later we swap roles and you begin defensive and you learn how to react when you're defensive. After that, we separate and we go high aspect, which is where we literally hit the merge, we call it, with the other airplane and then you react to what the other airplane does with your own aircraft, or you do whatever you wanna do and see what happens. And we learn as we go one step at a time. We also learn the basic principles, and some of these go all the way back to World War I. These are not new concepts. These are not secret concepts. These are literally the basics of lead, lag, and pure. Lead pursuit, you point out ahead of the airplane to get closer and to get into a position of advantage. We call it the control zone. You point right at the airplane, you will eventually end up going to where they were, but not where they are anymore. And then lag pursuit, you're basically pointing behind them. And we use that if we want to get more spacing. And there are times where it's appropriate to do each of these different things. So we learn BFM a little bit at a time, basic fighter maneuvers. You have to practice the basics in order to be good at max performing your airplane when it comes time for the more advanced stuff. That's a great question. If you have other ones like it, ask them in the comments, like and follow for more.